So the real problem in the country is unemployment, the foreclosure problems, and all the troubles that the middle class is going through. So they asked Mitt Romney, who's one of the leading candidates, obviously, on the Republican side, hey, how do you feel about the foreclosure problems? And people getting kicked out of their houses, etc. And he's got an interesting take on it. Let's watch. Um, as to what to do for the housing industry specifically, and are there are the things that you can do that, to, to encourage housing, one is don't try and stop the foreclosure process. Let it run its course and hit the bottom, allow investors to buy homes, put renters in them, fix the homes up, and let it turn around and come back up. The Obama administration has, has slow walked the, uh, the, the foreclosure processes that have been, uh, long existed, and, and as a result, we still have a foreclosure overhead. So let me get this right. You want foreclosures full steam ahead. You don't think the problem is that people are getting foreclosed on so much. You think the problem is we're not doing it fast enough. That's amazing. You heard it for yourself. He also said, oh, you know, we got to hit bottom uh, uh, first. So you've got a presidential candidate who can't wait to hit bottom. And when they asked him about, hey, do you want the economy to tank, basically, and get to the worst possible situation, especially with the foreclosures, he says, can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. So then he says we will rebound, and then his banker friends will help us. In fact, when asked about refinancing, and maybe we should... Uh, ask those banks to take a little haircut on, on mortgages that cost too much. Well, he was a lot more noncommittal on that. Watch. Uh, I think the idea of, of helping people refinance homes to stay in them is one that's, uh, uh, that's worth further consideration. Uh, but I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not signing on until I find out who's, who's going to pay uh, and who's going to get bailed out. And, and, uh, and, and, uh, and that's not something which, uh, which we know all the answers to yet. So on the refinancing, he doesn't really want to do it because that would mean that the banks would get a little less money. He would rather have all the foreclosures right away and have you hit bottom, right? So he says, I don't know about who's going to get bailed out. Because if it's the middle class, if it's an average guy getting bailed out, that doesn't help me at all. That guy doesn't contribute to my campaign. Oh, if you're talking about the banks being bailed out, I love it. Because remember, Mitt Romney did sign off on the bailouts. He was not in government, but he, was, he came out with statements that were totally supportive of the bailouts, saying that it had to be done for the sake of the economy. So when it comes to bailing out huge banks, Mitt Romney's in. He jump in. When it comes to bailing out average Americans, oh, I don't know about that. We can't do those kind of bailouts. No way. I want them to hit bottom first.